Hey guys, welcome to The Awakening. And today is 44. I've been doing this now for 44 days. And there's been huge things happening. I don't know about you, but huge things happening. And uh, I want to talk about some of them. Uh, just for the out of course in miracles today. And I am as love created me. I am as God created me. And so today I want to talk about um, what's happening with a lot of us and how to deal with it. Okay. Um, I've been channeling today and a lot came up. And basically the way I want to help you here is to try and explain that we've all been programmed and some of us were programmed in a different way some of us were programmed um, and triggered to be triggered in certain situations and basically this is what came up for me today so today i did a lot of channeling after an experience that really really triggered the little girl that was in the wars and it was fascinating, absolutely fascinating. So it, today I want to pass on to you guys in the awakening today, what I actually was able to bring up, what I'm able to explain, how I'm able to explain it to you. This is basically what I got. You've all been programmed. One way or another, you've been programmed since the time you were children. And those of you that were brought up with abuse and difficult childhoods, those of you that were brought up in wards were programmed to be on alert when a certain trigger goes off in you. So it's a bit like being hypnotized. You've been hypnotized. You've been hypnotized. And so I was hypnotized as a child uh, in a war zone to deal with certain situations in a certain way. And that's what's happening now with the awakening. All the programs are dissolving. They're all coming up to be cleared, basically. So if I give you the example of what happened to me, just a little bit, I don't want to go too much into my own stuff. But as I say, the only way you can teach and heal is by going through it. So I want to explain to you what happened a little bit so that I can help you as well. So as I was saying, um, I'm going to give you an example. And as I say, the only way you can help others and teach others is by going through situations um, that you can heal from, okay? So, and I'm also gonna give you a couple of techniques in this awakening to take you from the dark into the light. Okay, so this is the dark. The dark is you're triggered, whether it's noise, say you grew up in a war zone and drills seem to put you very far back into an air raid shelter. Okay, and that could happen now and this is what's happened to me. And it's okay. You, you accept it, you go through it, you cry, you scream, you curl up into a little ball in a cupboard if you have to and you feel what it felt like to be in an air raid shelter as a child. But you're not going to heal it yet because every time a drill goes off, you are going to basically, you're go it's like your um, message when you're hypnotized. To me, a drill is the message that was given to me as a child to go into total fight and flight. And so I couldn't go to bed last night I couldn't breathe, I couldn't relax. I was waiting on alert like this, waiting for the drill the next day. Because you're programmed, my darlings, you're programmed, you're programmed. You're, you're in a matrix where someone puts an idea into your head and that's your trigger. So those of us that grew up in wars will have a certain trigger. And so they will go into fight and flight in, if something is triggered in them that they were programmed to go into fight and fly for. I hope this makes sense, okay? So for example, if you went through childhood abuse and whatever that 
program that was put into you that kind of like would be put into you in a trance you go into a trance that sense of it's my fault um and all of that stuff that i released in the therapeutic community it's never your fault if you're a child then when it happens again through this huge awakening you are going to feel again very vulnerable it's like that word or that message because you're in trance we're all in a trance we're all walking around in a trance and the awakening is bringing that up so all our programs are dissolving they're dissolving they're dissolving so my big programs were around wars my big programs were around air raid shelters drills and noises like that and i sit there and i say i want my mom and dad where's my mom and dad because i haven't healed that because i never got an opportunity to heal it because i never got an opportunity to feel it so this is a gift it's a gift okay and now what i say to my little child i sat down with my husband I explained everything to him because I channeled the answers is you have to either get out of that situation and say to your little child, look, you can walk away. You can go to another place. You can go and sit in the garden by a tree. You, can, you don't have to sit in the drills and the noise because you're programmed because you're only going to go into more fight and flight, fight and flight. Your adrenaline will be everywhere. Fight and flight. And that's why you get adrenal fatigue because we're all programmed some of us more than others so the little child now she thinks she's back in wars again that identity that little uh, part of me big part of me that's caused a lot of pain and a lot of suffering in me thinks she is back in wars and because she never had a chance to bring it up she never had a chance to heal she never had a chance she never had enough love. She couldn't heal it yet. Till yesterday, today, and the next couple of days, where the drill is going to happen, I've been told. However, she is going to have to understand that she can get out. Now, the problem as well, when you're programmed like that, you are, you are post-traumatic stress, okay? Now, if you have post-traumatic stress, your little child, that identity, that part of you that's been programmed, I hope I'm explaining this properly, is going to think that they are in that air raid shelter or being abused or whatever it is where you went into trance and got programmed. You need to figure it out. You need to figure out where your program is. Now, people have been programmed from the beginning of time in this way. They've got triggers that set them off. Some of us don't know them. I channeled some answers. And so I want to meet up with some of you and I want to explain to you where you became programmed. Some of you in particular, I know the messages were given to me. And you don't even know it. You don't even know you've got these programs and that's what's sad. That's what's so difficult because, because we're in the awakening, you're going to be triggered all over the place. And some of us can detach and watch and think that's interesting. That's a program. I wonder where that's coming from. People behave in certain ways and that's a program. And there's nothing you can do until they're able to understand that that is their message that they were given. Like when you hypnotize someone, when something happens to you and it hurts and it's not normal and it's painful, like being in a war, being in an air raid shelter on your own, when you're a young teenager and your whole family are not there, or being abused or whatever it is, whatever it is, it's usually it's good things as well as, as someone told me but we're talking about the stuff that is not helping you now if you were lucky to be surrounded by love since that program got into you 
then you're lucky because you, it won't rule your life like it ruled mine. But through the awakening, you're going to be triggered everywhere. That's because this is what's happening to us. And that's why yesterday I said, honor your little child. Honor that part of you inside that is saying to you, I am a program. I have been programmed in some way. Now is your time to be able to understand all your programming. So what you can do, as I said, is you need to try your best to distract that part of you by taking it out of the situation. If it's bearable, you stay in the situation. You, if it's bearable, stay in the situation. Breathe around it. If it's too strong, like for me yesterday, I just, the drills were too strong. If, they're too, if it's too strong, you need to get out, okay? If it's too strong, you need to remove yourself out of it by saying to your little child, you have a choice, my darling, you have a choice. We're going out, we're going to do something. Like, you have to discover the things that get you out of it. And I discovered a few things about myself that really helped me. One of them is that you have to really, if someone, is not validating and understanding that part of you, you have to really ask them to get out or you get out. That's what I feel. Then you do something that you enjoy, whether it's playing music, which I did last night, which helped me, or you blend things in a blend jet, you make a smoothie, I love that. That really, really worked for me yesterday, making a smoothie. I made a peanut chocolate smoothie and it made me happy. The little child was celebrating. She felt good. So you could do that. You can do different things, you see. But you need to understand. Now, if you can't help yourself, then please contact me and I will explain more. But this is just a little awakening, a little space for you to understand. This is just a space for you to understand what has been done to us over the centuries. We have been programmed. The minute you go to live in Israel, you're programmed to become a soldier. So everything around you is programming you. It's like a continuous hypnotherapy session for the opposite way though. Instead of helping you, it's putting little messages into you. They call it MK Ultra. They call it mind, um, they call it brainwashing mind control so the media keeps on at you there's going to be a war there's going to be a war you're, you're always in trouble you're always in danger always ready to pick up your gun whether you're in the army you're surrounded by soldiers the whole the whole atmosphere is fear you're brought up you're taken to holocaust museums from the time you're six or five or whatever it will never happen again, therefore we have to be on alert. Now, yesterday this happened to me with the drill and I'm so grateful. I'm, I was so angry with that neighbor and I wanted to fight, and, but now I'm grateful because that part of me was allowed to come up and I'm working with my husband of how to deal with it. So you need to discover your program. You need to, uh, to see what's triggering me here. What am I being triggered here? What is happening? Where did this come from? And sit with it, let that come up. Feel your program, feel it. Really, really feel that program. And then the minute you feel that program, then my darlings, you can actually live with it. So that's the awakening for today. If you wanna to find out more, then please contact me, movingontv1 at gmail.com. I'm very, very happy to explain more. So if we put it in a small nutshell again, to conclude the awakening today, you have been programmed, as Hazel O'Connor sang, you are programmed. Give me an inch and take me a mile. She somehow either predicted all of this or she understood it with her lyrics. And I really want to interview her. I can't wait at some point to interview Hazel O'Connor because we are all programmed. And as I said, 
now with the awakening you are going to be triggered right left and center i'm telling you to protect yourself and to try and understand have two plans this is something i discussed with my husband have two plans have a plan for the day like my plan today is to do three interviews say on movie on tv two interviews now if the drill starts i can't do it so make sure when you tell people that you're going to do your interviews that may not happen you may have to not be able you may not be able to do them because there's a really loud drill going on but not only does it disrupt your interviews but it's going to trigger that little child who was in an air raid shelter now yes i can sit through it and i can let it get through me and maybe i'll be ready to do that someday maybe i'll be ready to do it when i don't know maybe tomorrow i'll sit with it instead of wanting to fight because i'm programmed to fight it's, it's like i'm a doll that's all we're all like little dolls there's parts of us that are like little robots and we had a little chip put in this already and it says drill fight <laughs> drills fight that's lauren that's that part drill fight for all of you there's a different program but mine is drills fight protect yourself put on your armor get your gun okay of course a miracle says when i defend myself i'm attacked <laughs> I was brought up to defend myself. <laughs> yeah, no wonder I'm attacked. So I'm trying to explain this to you. You're all programmed. You're all got little parts of you already little robots. And I'm also going to tell you that if we hadn't won this war, then they were going to set the little black eyed kids on us and they were programmed to kill. And it would have been man, but thank god we averted this the light beings averted it and we are it's not going to happen okay so what you need to do now is heal yourselves because so much is coming in the next few months my darlings you need to be grounded you need to protect yourself with the violet flame and have a beautiful cloak of archangel michael i'm going to do and, and also use how to stay sane in a crazy world that's upside down <laughs> How to stay sane in a crazy world because you're programmed you are you're programmed and everything you see now on the news it's all brainwashing they're carrying on your program so a little robot that's in me little little lauren 16 year old in an area shelter on her own mom and dad are not there am i ever going to see my parents again the drill starts the noise starts and she goes oh my god oh my god where's mom and dad because she is stuck in an air raid shelter. That little program, that little robotic Lauren is still in an air raid shelter. What's yours? How were you programmed as a child? Figure it out. I can help you figure it out. I can help you figure it out if you contact me. But as I'm saying, you need to love that you need to give it a chance to come up. This is the chance. There's, there's not going to be another chance. This is it. If you want to go into 5D, if you want to progress above this world, then you will need to face your demons and your programs. And you cannot heal until you face them. And some of you have got them to face now. Some of you are healing, still haven't understood those programs. So I channeled a lot because I had to, because in order to stay sane in this crazy world, I have to figure it out. So you have to have another plan just in case. So we got an allotment and it's so cool. We're going to be growing vegetables. We're going to be growing herbs. I don't know if you, can you grow fruit in an allotment? I don't know. Fruit usually grows on the tree. As far as I know, apples and pears grow on trees. I don't know, can we plant trees <laughs> and grow our fruit? Maybe. But it's so, this is what you've got to do. You've got to find different things to do that appeal to you. Solutions only. There's about solutions. 
Today I'm in solution zone and no problem is too big or small. I'm strong enough to look at it and find a smaller big solution. Okay? So today I was able to, this morning, to channel enough to help my fellow man by helping myself. As I say, if you're bored listening to my story, I'm sorry about that, but I cannot heal you if you do not understand what happened. I cannot empathize with you if I don't get across to you what I've learned. So this is it. And I really need to get back to writing my book. So I'm going to do a message from heaven for you as well. Message from heaven. Let's pick one. It'd be funny if it's the same one again, wouldn't it? And then I've got to do everything I can to get this on quickly and then get Brad Yates on. Now, when he does the tapping, he takes you into your program. Tapping. Do tapping. It'll take you into your program and feel whatever you need to feel. Feel whatever you need to feel because you have a right to. Because when you were children, you were told to shut up. Mum and dad were stressed out or whatever. Let's see what they've got to say if they've moved on. And I want to see what their message from heaven is. Let's have a look. What is the message from heaven to your beautiful, beautiful souls that are here now? Oh, you all made contracts before you came here. So you cannot complain about your lives, my darlings. You made contracts before you came here to do what you need to do. Don't whinge, don't complain, get on with it. But sit with that identity that is holding you back. Right. We're helping to bring a little luckier way you deserve it. Ah, oh, lovely bear. We're helping to bring a little luck your way, you deserve it. So if you're watching this today, this is your message from heaven. I'm going to do a bit of a Facebook Live as well on, um, I think, after I finish this. Because I can do Hope Glory and because I'm, my support is growing on there. I'm going to use this card as well. I think it's a beautiful card, and whoever watches it will get this. We're helping to bring a little luck your way, isn't that gorgeous? Beautiful cuddly bear, hugs, cuddly bear. Is that your totem animal? Cuddles, you may need cuddles. Whoever's watching this, hug yourself, nurture yourself, solutions only. I hope I helped you today, going from the dark into the light. That's what the awakening is about. Don't be frightened of the noise. Don't be frightened of the, what's happening around you. Let yourself get triggered. But if you're triggered, try and give that part of you what it needs. Whether it, If you can sit with it, sit with it in the noise and the trigger and what it's doing to your nervous system. If you don't want to, get out. You're not a child. You can get out. You can take that step. Okay, I love you lots. I've got loads of work to work on myself. This is a big awakening. Take care. Bye.